the word of God will give us the understanding from heaven that this is what we will see before restoration. As we pass through those wilderness, let us begin to stay focused on our promised land. And I know that God will do a new thing in your life in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. With this standing ovation, let us make welcome my brother, my apostle, Henry Igumba, all the way from your children. Let's keep clapping for Jesus. If your Jesus is big as you know, please give me a very big clap. Let his clap be bigger. Keep clapping for him. God bless you. Shall we? Let's go. Let's go. Our Father and our God, we thank you. Yahweh is your name. Thank you for what you did yesterday. You are the God that moves from honor to honor, and glory to glory, and power to power. Thank you for what you have done already. Thank you for your awesome and mighty presence. I say our thanks in Jesus' name. Father, over to you. Holy Spirit, take over. Let it be all of you in the name of Jesus. As the message will become, let lives be transformed. Let there be healing. Let there be deliverance. Father, whatever the present can come up, palm away, caterpillar, obstacles, and walls in the lives of your people. Father, let them be your protect. Let them be consumed Amen. in the efficacy of the world in the name of Jesus. Amen. Thank you, Father. Blessed be your holy name. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. How many of us know the meaning of Amen? We want to go straight into the first one. Amen means I concur. Amen is a powerful truth. Tonight, God is about to do something mightier than you can imagine. Amen. God is taking someone beyond his comprehension. Amen. Beyond our comprehension. Amen. God is going to do for you tonight wonders beyond measure. Amen. If you are in agreement, shout hallelujah. hallelujah. I'm going to praise my father, my father. Visit the foundation of my life and call my bitterness of God in the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and pray. Tonight, visit the foundation of my life and call my bitterness of God in the name of Jesus.
eras. In all eras. In all eras. Of my vision. Oh Lord. In all eras of my vision. In all eras of my vision. Oh Lord. Visit me for total freedom. In the name of Jesus. Say, my father, my father. Please, we will pray this one very well. When you find yourself in a situation that you don't understand, you switch over to the language you cannot control. The Bible says in 1 Corinthians 14, verse 4, that he that speaketh in an unknown tongue and divide himself. What does it mean? He's talking his spiritual man for 30 seconds. God's go ahead. Begin to tap your spiritual man. You can go by way of caterpillar. If your ending is caterpillar time, you can go caterpillar. Marek of Hosea, tonight is a terrible night. Because the terrible God that we serve will manifest. The wonderful God that we serve will manifest. Open your mouth. Rapoto koto sekete, yelegete prokoto pregete, la kurunda ka prokoto se, yelegete prokoto pregete prokoto, regete prokoto pregete, prokata prokoto pregete, prokoto pregete prokata, ma to kroho to hobiya, regete prokoto pregete prokoto, rapa pa 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 pa, se ono my father. Jesus, hope you are about to pray. Visit that in that area of my life with your fire, with your light, right now, in the name of Jesus. Visit the Lord, every dark area of the lives of your children. Oh Lord, visit them. Visit them. Fishing them, fishing them, fishing them, fishing them all over. Rap on the roof, rap on the roof, rap on the roof, rap on the roof, rap on the roof. By whom we have, in Jesus' name we pray. There is corporate anointing in the house. In Jesus' name we pray. If there is anything. That till tomorrow, God does not have a direct solution to it. Except he comes through the way of scattering. He's praying in agreement. He's a power of agreement. How do I know? In Genesis chapter 11, the Bible said the people in agreement they were building. And God said, nothing can stop this. The only thing can stop them. Is to sow the seed of this agreement. We want to pray a prayer of agreement. Matthew 11, verse 18, verse 19. Matthew 11, 8, Matthew 18, 19 says, If two or more shall agree here on earth concerning anyone that it shall be done. I want you to hold somebody. Say, Father, Father. it is written. In Psalm 107 verse 20, that you will send forth your word, and your word be healed, and deliver from all destruction.
Let your holy man. Every hand that has stretched forward. Father, release fire. Abraham had a divine restoration. 
And God told him to do three things. And him, God, was going to do for him seven things. Abraham went asked. One, leave your country. Two, leave your entire family. Three, go to a country I will show you. Abraham left his country. Abraham went to the country he doesn't even know, but was walking by instruction. But he failed to leave the midst of his family. No one that the Bible says in Hosea 5 7 that the enemy of a man is found in the world. God had a better answer. Bible said, Abraham, for you to prosper, it must be between me and you. Tonight, God is going to strengthen your fellowship with you. Amen. God is going to strengthen his relationship with you. Amen. When God leaves his majestic throne and visits a man, the equation changes. Tonight, God will visit you. Amen. I said, God will visit you. Amen. After Noah in chapter 9 of Genesis, after God visited Noah, in between chapter 10 and 11, there was no more visit. We didn't record that God spoke directly to anyone in him except in Genesis 4. Yet, in between 10, 11, and 12, there were a lot of people. Some live for 400 years. And yet, they have no record of God speaking to them. Hear me? Between chapter 9 of Genesis and chapter 12, it's over four, five hundred years. God is speaking to you. Tonight, God will express to speak to you in the name of Jesus. Amen. Out of the blues in Genesis chapter 12, we just had God visiting Abraham from nowhere. And he spoke to him. And there are several things happen. And one of the things that happened is that you and I today. We are products of that visitation. Amen. That we are called Abraham's seed. The like seed of Abraham. And one thing that Abraham did was obedience. He corrected his obedience by the time we got to chapter 13 and verse 14. The Bible says, And when Lot was separated, not until your obedience is total. Restoration will occur. Told us yesterday, restoration to our action. There must be repentance. There must be hope. And now I'm having, there must be obedience. Tomorrow, which is the grand finale, I'm going to be looking at the steps to restoration. I want to leave in Old Testament to New Testament. John chapter 5, from verse 1 to 9, tells us the story of a man who lived all his life in a particular place. And that place was called the Pool of Bethesda. This man was heavily loaded with evil load for 38 years. But one good thing about this man was that eventually he had a good problem. Why did I say he had a good problem? Any problem that leads a man to God is a good problem. If you read John chapter 5 from verse 1 all through to 9, you will see the pool of Bethesda. That pool of Bethesda means several things to several people. Just like this meeting means several things to several people. Please note this. The anointing of God is real. It's raw and it's rare. And I 
have the singular honor on behalf of heaven. We tell you tonight, the anointing of God is here. Please just be connected. For 38 years, this man was very close to the pool. Proximity is different from connectivity. You might be close to pastor. You might be the one carrying his bags left and right. You drop him at the airport. You pick him back from the train station. Hello. If you are not connected, there is no impartation. The pool of Bethesda that means several things to several people. To those that were fast, to those that understand, the pool means a healing pool. You have to understand. To the slow people, you know there are slow people in life. It was the sweet people. To the traders, the Bible told us that there were several traders around that pool. To the traders, they saw it as a marketplace to display and sell their products. That's why some people can come to the place of anointing, they begin to trade. Their minds begin to wander from one place to the other for things that have no spiritual addition. For things that will not have value to their lives. To the healthy people, they were not interested in the poor since they were healthy. To the angels of God, to them, it was a place of releasing anointing. No wonder the Bible said, the angel will come, drop on the water, and the first to enter the pool receives the anointing. Tonight, as many that are past, your story will change tonight. Yeah. Three people. Three people. Where are they? Three people. Three people. Three people. Three people. Three people. Please, when I call, please be serious. You must not leave this meeting with a trouble. Your trouble must come to triumph. Amen. Receive now. Amen. That which that man got, take it. Amen. It's already there. Amen. Oh, where are the ushers? Where are the ushers? It's ushers, please walk, 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 walk. Yes. That is it. It's there, it's there, it's there. Don't resist them. Allow the anointing to be this. Receive your receive your own. 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 Where's the next person? Take your own. Young, take it. Take it. Take, 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 take. Where are the cash? Please. I didn't come from Lagos to come and pay. Take it. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. Praise the Lord. Can we celebrate Jesus? To the angel, that pool was a place of releasing the anointing. For that, I profess in the name that is above every other name. Anyone that understands that is connected. Receive now in the name of Jesus. Yeah. To Jesus, it was a place for him to visit. Not all visitations are normal. I want to announce to you that this visitation is not normal. I didn't come for a normal visitation. Are you hearing me? The pastor didn't bring me here for a normal visitation. Jesus visited the pool, but it was just a visit. But on the fast, they saw it 
that have venue to them. Many of us have certain things in common with a man with infirmity. This man has been in the school of expectation. He had a problem that took away his identity. And people were using this reproach to describe him. The man was very close to the pool. And yet, he did not receive the power from the pool. And by proximity, but no encounter. Please don't be in this meeting without an encounter. Please, I beg you. It's an unusual meeting. I beg you. The man was helpless and needed help. But nobody was there to assist him. Even the angels that troubled the water, they couldn't help him. The man was in the pool for 38 years. He met people there. Some people met him there. Some people left him there. The principle of first come, first time, did not apply to him. I told him, I said, this man has been here before. Let us give him the grace of men to sell her. And let us push him forward. It was not applicable. The man was a spectator and also a commentator. A spectator because he witnessed the healing of many people. A commentator because he was telling the story when he would have just said to Jesus, Jesus, I need you. The following things happened when Jesus was telling you. The following things happened when Jesus was telling you. Hello. The atmosphere right now is grossly gross. There is no caterpillar, mama womb, caca womb, sickness, demon that can escape it. It's religious. Hear me? Your word is nothing when you are on earth. Are you hearing me? Yeah. Every sickness in this atmosphere, oh, by the authority of God's war, yeah. receive instant healing.
And the Bible said, Jesus, with his head turned out, went to where the man was. And the man was sensitive in the spirit and went to him. And said, Jesus, see where I am? Heal me. As many that are crying in the heart, that this meeting will not pass you back. Jesus will visit you in Jesus' name. Amen. The third thing that happened was that this man was relocated. <laughs> he was relocated. Hello. Where you are is okay to you. But by the time you encounter some visits, you begin to know and see that this place is too small. That man was relocated. The Bible said he took his mouth. And that was the last time he ever slept by his tomb. He was relocated. The fourth thing that happened to him was that the man's original identity was restored. People used to know you as a wedding fellow. But all of a sudden, things fell about. Remember life. When you are not dead, you are needed. When you are floated, you are discarded. Nobody regards you anymore. We are in a system where money makes the boss. We are in a system where without money, you are not relevant. Tonight, God will change that narrative in Jesus' name. Amen. So that's it that happened to this man was that the bitter story of that man ended. Somebody's bitter story we have to know. Amen. But I want to warn you. Don't go for miracles. But go for Jesus. Once you have Jesus, the miracles will fall. You may not know the poor. You may not know the angel. That trouble the poor. But if you know Jesus, your case is saved. How do you provoke divine unity? How do you provoke this nation? Number one, open the door of your heart. Revelation 3 to fast reader. For the fast reader reading from me yesterday. Reading from everyone yesterday. Revelation 3.20 Open the door of your heart. There's a door to open. For you to experience divine miracle, divine visitation, let the door of your heart be open. Everyone that you will see Please stay on that and wait to hear me. They are receiving. They are door of their heart. I hope nothing is wrong with them. But you, whose door is closed, hello? They are nothing will touch you sit in there. Because not until you open, God will not come in. Jesus is not like Satan. Satan can break in. God will never break in. God will respect the will of God. He's ready to stand at the door of your heart. Until you open, do not force yourself in. He's not a thief like Satan. So open the door of your heart. Number two. Invite him. Invite him. And engage him. John chapter 2. Invite him and engage him. In John chapter 2, we were told. That there was a marriage in Cana and Jesus was invited. He invited him. All of a sudden, shame came and they engaged him. And he was able to turn their shame to glory. That event brought the most expensive wine we can ever think of on that. Inviting, engaging. Number three, fellowship with brethren. Matthew 18, verse 20. Hebrews 10, 
verse 25. Matthew 18, verse 20. Hebrews 10, verse 25. Praise Him. One thing about God is if you are able to give Him what He cannot give Himself, hello, He will give to you what you cannot give. God dwells in the midst of His people. Psalm 22, verse 8. The address of God is what? What is the address of God? You see me. What is the address of God? It's in my presence. God bless you, sir. The address of God is what? Praise, praise, praise. In you, praise it. You want to know that God is present in you. Don't go ahead and praise. And I know that tomorrow is going to be far bigger than today. Because the wonderful choir will be fully here. I bless you. Another way you can promote divine miracle and visitation is by giving. One of the principles of receiving from God is in giving. Galatians 6 verse 7. He said, God cannot be mocked. Neither can we be seen or manipulated. It is what we give. Hello? Hello? Uh. It's what we give that we receive. The window of Sarafat in 1 Kings, chapter 17, verse 9 to 16. 1 Kings 17, 9 to 16. Gave even a last name. The treasure of heaven is accessible without interest in humans. In summary, God visited Abraham. Abraham, eventually his name was changed from Abraham to Abraham. Sarah to Sarah. Today is the father of all blessings. In Deuteronomy 8:18, God was telling us the reason why He gave us the power to make wealth in all that He now to bring to pass the covenant of wealth. God has no covenant of wealth between me and you. That covenant of wealth was established between Him and Abraham. So that God is going to change your West House. If you used to apply the principle of eating the available tonight, God will take you to the right of eating the preferable in Jesus' name. Amen. If you used to be in the level of not enough tonight, God will take you. To the level of more than enough in the name of Jesus. In conclusion, we will start 14 prayer points to pray. In conclusion, when God leaves his majestic throne and visits the man, the equation must change. In Acts of the Apostles, chapter 16, as Paul and Silas. We're praising God and praying. The Bible says, and God moves. Why? He shares His glory with no man. He will not send angels to you. If you have the attitude of praising God, you will always flow in the attitude of His presence and power. God moves. And each time God moves, several things happen. Number one, there will be restoration. The peace of Silas and Paul were restored. Their freedom they guaranteed. Even the people in that prison, they gave their life to Christ. Number four is that when God moves into a place, there will be deliverance. We saw the people were delivered. Number five, there will be destruction. The Bible said the foundation of the prison, they were what? Shaking. Why? The earth. He uses it as his word, his food stool. What does it mean? The earth cannot carry God. That the situation is too small for God. 
if only you will hearken to that. Rise up on your feet. Rise up on your feet. Just open your mouth and begin to tap. Yesterday I gave us a very simple instruction. If God will turn those people to him be the glory, I said, come with a bottle of oil. How many of us could be it? Now listen, what you are going to bring forward by the time I'll be asking you is oil. The Bible said Jesus gave an instruction in John chapter 2. He said they should go and get water. But after what? What they got was water. Am I right? What you are holding is oil. But what you are going to be giving is anointed oil. Part of Europe in the month of February, between 17, not even I went to minister in that country and I told them they dropped it. On the Thursday, Friday, by Sunday, some of them are pregnant now. February. Some of them, they told me that the oil is doing so many wonders and miracles. Sir, I don't believe to the class of orators. I thank God for Papa. We belong to the class of oracles. Our work. Is constructed by the power of God. It doesn't go back. By the time the word of God touches that oil, they become a wonder walking oil. Wonder is bigger than miracle. How many of us know that? Please preserve it. Are we hearing? Yes, sir. In the kingdom of God, not in the spirit. I'm going to pray this prayer. Say, My Father, my Father. Oh, in the day of trouble, in the name of Jesus, open your mouth and pray. Lord, I thank you. I thank you, Lord, for me, for me, for me, for me. My stronghold in the day of trouble. My father, my father, my father, I thank you for being my helper in the day of trouble. In the name of Jesus, open your mouth and pray. We have to pray, pray, pray small. Thank you, Lord, for being my helper in the day of trouble. Thank you, thank you, Lord, thank you, Lord, thank you, Lord, thank you, Lord. 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 Say by the power of the blood of Jesus. I block my life into the socket of divine power. To pursue my enemies, overtake them, and recover all my blessings. In the wells of the devil, in the name of Jesus. By the power
you will ask for glory, will go. Whatever you will ask for come, they come. Amen. Some things that sit there before that not told God, God, I don't need them anymore. You will pray. Say, power to darkness. And testify much.
prayer. Get your holy ready. Take your people Lord. from the realm of death and death to the level of man and earth in the name of Jesus. Say, my father, my father, by the power and the blood of Jesus, I decree my season of October breakthrough has come in the name of Jesus. By the power and the blood of Jesus, I decree that my season of October breakthrough has come in the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and pray. My season of October breakthrough. Our season of our common purpose. Second to the last. Said, I receive the power and grace to pursue, overtake, and recover my stolen virtues in the name of Jesus. I receive the power to pursue, overtake, and recover my stolen virtues in the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and pray. In Jesus' name, of prayer. There was a lady I asked, come with her catch. Where is she? To some of us, I said, please come with her catch. Please bring it. Tomorrow, when you are coming, come with her catch. If you have your catch now, bring it. Anyone you have her catch, bring it. She take the last time. And you bring the oil. And the boy here is not there. Follow my instruction. The pastor will do what I will do. I'll go on there to the left. You will see what God will do. Look at that. You are the one that wants it. Father, in the name of Jesus, Lord God, say whatever you hear me say, that you will do. Because my hand has touched this handkerchief and in line with what you did for God, in act of the apostles, that every handkerchief that touched the hands of God in act 19 became a healing man, became a prayer of your power. Lord, turn this handkerchief to a wonder walking handkerchief.
back. This oil come out. And every one of you that are coming out, you will bring a prophetic seed along with it. Come from. You might not have it today, but come from. Are you hearing me? Sir, let them give you the seed before you give it to me. Are you hearing me, sir? Nothing in the kingdom. It was not even convenient for Jesus to go to the cross. You hear what I'm saying? The Bible says some gave bountifully and they received bountifully. Some gave sparingly, anyhow. Please don't go and give him one of them. No. Whatever you want to give him, let that be your mercy. Meaning, are you hearing me? You will see God at work. Is your name written on them? You are written your name on them. Drop them. Just arrange them. Let somebody be here to arrange them. Father, in the name of Jesus. But well, hear me. Tomorrow. If yours is ready, I will give it to you by myself. Are you hearing me? But if yours is not ready tomorrow, Papa will give it to you. If yours is ready tomorrow, I will give it to you. It's also a prophet. But if it's not ready tomorrow, we will take it from there. If yours is ready now, I will give it to you now. I will bring, take your own. If you are talking about your prophetic sin, it is ready. If your sin is ready, I'll pray for you. So let's take the last one. If you didn't hear what I'm saying, I knew what I'm saying. I put a benchmark. So when you honor that benchmark, what we are doing is perfect. You just pray the last one. Say, my father, my father. My expectations shall not be cut off in the name of Jesus. Open your heart and pray. My expectations shall not be cut off. My expectations shall not be cut off in the name of Jesus. My expectations, O God, shall not be cut off. 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 Oh God, my Father, let not my expectations be cut off in the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and pray. Let not my expectations be cut off. In Jesus' name we pray. This question is for us. Tomorrow, Sunday, Sunday, Sunday. instruction and action. And you will come with water. No problem. Such as for us. Father, in the name of Jesus, we are the wonderful God that works wonder. And I know it's millions. Father, everyone whose hands are stretched towards me, heal them in Jesus' name. Amen. Deliver them in the name of Jesus. As many people that are stretched towards you, Father, let them have an encounter. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Thank you, Father. Thank you. Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. If you have document issues, bring your document. Whatever. That will be a medium of contact. And God will take the glory in Jesus' name. Help me celebrate Jesus. Please come back to us. Hallelujah. How many of us are blessed tonight? Amen. Touch somebody and be my season of restoration. And be my season of restoration. 
say because you mean it, I am in a season of restoration. Nothing can stop me now. Nothing can stop me now. It's my season of restoration. In the name of Jesus. Now let us quickly take a seed of love to bless this awesome one man of God. We didn't buy his ticket from Nigeria. We have not done anything for him. But he agreed and chose to be a blessing to this house. Let us also in our own little way bless him. Amen. So let's take a seed of love for this awesome man of God. Dip your hand into your pocket and let's take a seed of love for him. Why are these? What shall we say unto our God? How we have to say thank you, Lord. What shall we say? Consolidate all that you have started tonight. 
And let there be healing in the house. Let there be testimonies in the house. Let there be miracles in the house. Lord God Almighty, bring back the people again tomorrow to come and worship you in the beauty of your holiness. In the mighty name of Lord Jesus. Thank you, Father God, for your presiding grace. Glory and adoration to your living name. In Jesus' name we pray. Yeah. Yeah. Let us begin our common declaration. Glory and love is upon us.